Silk came out with a new creamer. I'm out of focus, aren't I? Silk came out with a new creamer. It's maple brown sugar. At least it's new to us. I live in a small town. We get things last. It's just kind of how it goes. But it's perfect. So good. So, so good. Sorry if you can hear my dishwasher. Dishes need to be washed and I'm not gonna do them. Starting the sequel to The Serpent and the Wings of, what? Serpent and the Wings of Night. I can't even remember what these books are called, but I love them a lot. I just got this one. Hardcover, which, you know what? I, I don't, okay, I prefer hardcovers, but I don't love dust jackets because they just kind of get in the way, but I love it when a hardcover also has a gorgeous actual cover. A lot of the times they don't, they're just black and boring. feeling a little down in the dumps today, as I'm sure a lot of people are. So I've decided I'm just gonna go do a little retail therapy, just go to Winners and look at the Christmas stuff and maybe buy a festive mug if they have any cute ones. Like, I just kinda need that serotonin right now. This is my outfit. this a wonderful angle where you can totally see my whole outfit at once it's like eight degrees so maybe I should wear a jacket but at the same time I don't want to I'm not gonna I'm not gonna successful of a trip not that I went in for like a lot of things but I did find like the cutest little pajamas they have little peppermints and they say dear Santa on them I don't know why but like pink and red is such an underrated Christmas combination so I got those then I got this little gingerbread house mug honestly they yeah they were just really lacking at my local winners this week which was disappointing but I still had like the serotonin levels that I needed over the weekend though I did go book shopping and so I wanted to show you guys a couple of the books I got I was reading this before um, but it's the sequel to the serpent and the wings of night so I picked up the second one I just started it um, but I couldn't wait I couldn't wait I got archer's voice because it was on sale it was only $13 um, and everybody and their mother talks about this book on TikTok. And I like to be a part of things. So I'm going to pick it up. Well, I did pick it up. But I'm going to read it and see what it's all about. I got some Christmas books that I plan to read all throughout December. Um, Non-negotiable. Non-negotiable, right? Like, I love me a good Christmas Hallmark-esque book. But number one is this novella. Um, it's so short. And I'm sad that it's this thin. But it's everyone... 
This Christmas Has a Secret by Benjamin Stevenson. He did Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone, Everyone on This Train is a Suspect, like that fun little murder mystery genre that or series that he's got going on. Um, and I don't see enough people talking about this. I thought that he was like properly hyped, but maybe not. Nobody's been talking about this online when it comes to like Christmas books, but it is quite short. It is a novella, but it's a Christmas novella. And I had like the second it came out, I was like, yeah, I have to have that. Anything this man writes, I'm going to read. And I do not read a lot of books by men, like at all. Next, I got How My Neighbor Stole Christmas by Megan Quinn, um, cause it looks adorable. I love me a good enemies to lovers, especially if one of them is like a Grinch. Like I love Hallmark movies, like I really do. And I, if I can get that in book form, I'm going to do it. Although I'm surprised how thick it is for a Christmas book. Like it's over 400 pages. It's closer to 500 pages, which is crazy. Um, but it looks very cute, so I'm gonna read that. And then, of course, I had to get The Christmas Tree Farm by Laura Gilmore. She did The Pumpkin Spice Cafe, Cinnamon Bun Bookstore. They are very Gilmore Girls Hallmark movie-esque books. They're not, like, I've, I've been seeing, like, some discourse about, like, The Pumpkin Spice Cafe and The Cinnamon Bun Bookstore because they're very fall-coated, right? They look super cute. They have all of the fall vibes, and then people have been reading them, and they're like, I'm so disappointed. Like, that was nothing. And... I can't disagree if you are expecting more then maybe it seems like nothing but I think what you see is what you get it's a small town little romance the stakes aren't big it's predictable but I think that there's a, a comfortability to that and that's why I had to get this because I just like I'm just here for the vibes when I'm reading Christmas books I'm not looking for my life to be transformed I'm looking to get in the holiday spirit and have a good time I really need to do a little bit of cleaning because this weekend we'll be decorating for Christmas, so I need to stay on top of the kitchen every day. I, but I also just kind of want to do a light clean everywhere, but that brings me to this because like one of, arguably one of the best Christmas albums of all time. I just got on vinyl. Um, I'm so happy. I'm so excited. I haven't played it yet, so I think I'm gonna put this on to just kind of get in the, like I need, I need Christmas right now. I've been so down lately. Um, so we're gonna, we're gonna put Jay Beebs on. Um, I love this album more than anything. Um, so we're gonna put it on and we're gonna clean a little bit. pretty surprising or maybe unsurprisingly that it is so hard to find vegan hot chocolate mix um i don't know maybe it's more prominent in like america but here in canada or at least where i am you know i never want to make assumptions about what other people's parts of the world are like but at least here it is incredibly hard and it's even hard to find it online i did find it from lily bean it's dark double chocolate and i find that that's always the thing is like you can find dark chocolate for a lot of you know vegan or like dairy free um substitutions and while there's nothing wrong with dark chocolate and i do enjoy enjoy dark chocolate we've seen like 
Hershey's and um, Lint and a lot of other like famous well-known chocolate brands make vegan alternatives using like oat milk or almond milk like just replace the dairy milk with non-dairy milk and I feel like that could have been the case like I have seen powdered dairy-free milks and so like why not put it in something like this but anyway I haven't tried it I'm going to try it right now because I'm feeling cozy I'm feeling a little festive as like you know you can make it using milk of your choice or hot water I don't know I maybe it's just because we grew up like really not financially stable but we uh, when we had hot chocolate mix we made it with like water like making it with milk as the base was never an option or like a thing that we did like you could put in like a splash of milk if you wanted to like cool it off or like add a little bit of creaminess but we never like made it as the base and so i i don't know if i should try it with hot water right now or if i should try it with almond milk i don't know i'm gonna try it with milk i'm gonna try it with milk you know what why not why not that's how they suggest doing it like perfect level oh it looks like hot chocolate mm -hmm. gotta make sure I'm getting all those clumps I also like if I do it in the Keurig frother it like obviously heats it up but it also froths it as you would expect because it's called a frother but that just gives like a really nice consistency Yo. Okay, hot chocolate. That slaps. I can't remember what like actual hot chocolate tastes like because it's been years since I've had one and I've had a good one. in desperate need of a little TLC I've mentioned before but I recently got put on biacna because I have been struggling a lot with breakouts on my chin and then scarring which I've only been using it for like less than a month and it's already getting a lot better but that being said I'm gonna do a little moisturizing mask today this is like a dual moisturizing mask from fresh it's so good you like apply this um, clear layer to your skin, let it absorb, and then you apply the other layer. And it smells so good, like all of fresh products do. I really wish humans could hibernate. Like I really wish we'd adopted that kind of winter um, aesthetic. I wish that we could just sleep or like not leave our houses for four months that would be really great even though thanks to climate change it's not getting that cold outside which is super duper unfortunate welcome back to another episode of cooking with katie today we're making marry me chickpeas what does that mean i don't know i also just realized that the recipe calls for sun-dried tomatoes and all i have are roasted red peppers so i'm i'm hope i'm hoping that that will um suffice mm -hmm. 